The Indie Autonomous Challenge is really a battle of algorithms more than it is a battle of vehicles. You don't really know where the limit is until you exceed it on a racetrack that has rather dramatic consequences. If you can push these systems to their absolute limit and they still function, then you can be pretty sure they're going to work on the highway. The entire purpose of autonomous racing is to search for these edge cases. We want to encounter events that are not ideal. No American team has won this race yet, and we hope that Cavalier Racing Team is the first one to do that. There's a lot of work that has to go in until we can be ready for an actual race. The real contest happens in the six-week lead-up. We're focused purely on making the best software algorithms that can push the car as fast as possible. Every team is here to win the race, but we never lose sight of this higher research-driven goal. We're taking autonomous systems and autonomous driving and pushing it to its absolute limit and proving that this technology works. We want to push the limits of what is possible. Being on pit lane at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it almost feels surreal how many legends of racing were standing right here at some point. The competition is nine university-led teams. They come from all around the world. Even though we're something of a smaller team up against some behemoths, we can absolutely win this race. Race day, we just push the code and see what happens, which is definitely a bit nerve-wracking. At some point, you have to just let go and trust it. Cavalier Autonomous Racing are showing some serious bravado here. We're in the window now. 171-011. Cavalier Autonomous Racing from University of Virginia, the winner of the time trial. There they are. Look at the jubilation down there, as you would expect. Look at that. Here's a celebration going on. It's always special when a team that is considered maybe a little bit of an underdog pulls it out with a lap like that. That was stunning. Finally getting a stand up on the podium and hoist that first place trophy felt especially good. An American team finally won the time trial challenge. They proved that we can do this. It kind of feels like American muscle is back. <laughs>